on our news you can use actually has got a little uh, uh, board that we're going to put up. I'm going to show you some some headlines from emails I received. I think it was last Thursday. <clears throat> These are all separate emails that I received from wholesalers. I get you know hundreds of emails a day. But these, I guess there's eight or nine of them here, uh, were the first time that I had seen a, a wholesaler literally advertise a price reduction, a price drop in a property. And it's interesting because not, not one of them, these are like three or four or five different wholesalers. And across the board, they are reducing their price on the wholesale fee because they can't get them sold. The last time I looked back, the last time... Uh, I searched for price reduction, price drop, um, you know, overpriced, and then renegotiated, which is the politically correct way you want to say, I have to drop my price because I can't get it sold. <clears throat> um, I, last time I saw one of these was in March uh, of 2021. So we go from zero for 200 and some days to all of a sudden, I guess there's eight or nine of them here in one day that tells you what's going on with the market out there if the wholesalers can't get these things sold um you know they, they're either you know too they're asking too much money you know some of these things are small five thousand dollar price reduction eight thousand price reduction but you look at the price of the home on some of these and these are like thirty forty thousand dollar homes so they probably had too high of a fee you look at the top one there twenty five thousand dollar uh, wholesale fee reduced for a fixer in El Cerrito, which is uh, down here near Los Angeles. Uh, and, you know, it is it is getting interesting and scary out there for these people. Now, you still get these uh, real estate folks, some of them run around the country, you know, uh, claiming that the sky is not falling, everything's great. You know, the Pollyanna group out there who are telling you everything is is super but I dug a little deeper to find out, you know, exactly what's going on and why in so many areas of the country. And I saw an article yesterday in The Hill, kind of an online magazine that came out. The title of the article is Don't You Be My Neighbor. If you guys get a chance, you should probably look this up online and read this. And basically what it does is it goes through and explains some of the froth was due to, we've talked about this on several previous calls, was basically due to illegal money coming into the real estate market. You guys are probably familiar with the fact that we've talked about this before. Real estate is one of those very, very, very unusual businesses that can still take cash. So if you go into the bank um, and you put it, you deposit or take out more than ten thousand or ten thousand ninety nine ninety nine, more than ten thousand dollars in cash or bring in more than $10,000 to deposit, you're going to have to fill out a form that the federal government in theory will investigate to make sure that, you know, the sources and uses of those funds are legal. Same thing in the, you know, for lack of a better term, the marijuana business. Uh, it's legalized here in California, Colorado, and some other states. And, but you can't pay cash for this stuff. If you go in, um, you know, you, you have to pay cash for it. But, the silly around you have to pay cash for it but they have a hard time uh depositing that money they can't put that money into banks in most cases uh because it's all cash the the exception to this is still the real estate business and i'm not sure why it's been like this but you can literally buy an eight hundred thousand uh, dollar house and bring in you know eight thousand one hundred dollar bills um to your title company and you can buy it and they don't give a second hoot to this deal. Well, the, the federal government's announced a, a new program that they're going to institute called the, uh, it's a strategy, the strategy on countering corruption. And, you know, a lot of this has been uncovered by uh, investigative journalists where they've gone around the country. It's been commonly known that, you know, mobs, for example, in Southern California, it's the Mexican mafia. In Sacramento area, it's the Russian mafia. Um, in Miami, it's the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, the Congolese uh, elite who've smuggled 800 and some million dollars out of the country. And they're putting this cash into these large mansions. But as the investigations went on, they found that all over the country, at lower levels, people are buying, you know, beater houses, they're buying mid-level priced houses, they're buying low-priced houses. 
uh, and they've got straw men all over the country with cash um, who are buying these properties. And so some of the froth, I think, when it's when it's all said and done, and they finally stop this ability of real estate to be bought in cash cash. In fact, it literally, if you're going to an auction in California, you've either got to have a cashier's check or you've got to have cash cash. And almost everybody uh, goes in with cash cash rather than cashier's checks. So it's an interesting trend. I think it's partially responsible for the froth we've seen in the market over the last couple of years. Um, and when that, you know, uh, the, the, these types of funds cease coming into our marketplace, you're gonna see, you know, a lot less buyers. It was an interesting thing. <clears throat> you guys probably watch these shows like I do, uh, Flip or Flop, which is uh, based here in Orange County um in california it focuses on you guys have seen Tariq, you know Tariq and christina for the first time this last week um they had a property that didn't get overbid um and didn't even make it to their ask price so they done a big rehab put it on the market for nine hundred ninety nine thousand, which is kind of a mid-level priced home in in orange county california believe it or not that's a starter home um, and they were expecting multiple bids as they always get over that. And they got one offer at 975 that has not yet closed. So you're seeing that trend where the prices are going to be coming down because there's less bidders, less buyers. And once again, I think less crooked money coming into the system, which uh, when it's all pulled out and separated, you're going to see, I think, the market uh, drop at a faster rate than what people are expecting. So we'll see how this thing goes. Um, keep your eye. I, I think this is going to be one of the federal government's big initiatives over the next couple of years is cleaning up this uh, kind of laundered money or money laundering scheme uh, that is literally legal, legal and available in the real estate industry. Uh, it, it is what they say is it's the largest source of laundering of money right now. They used to do, you know, all kinds of different things. They buy businesses and so on and so forth. You wanna see how this works, watch Ozarks. Uh, it'll show you how the, the, the mob, the mafia will uh, hide money, but they don't talk about buying these houses. And this is really what people have been doing. Uh, this corrupt money has been going there for the last several years. So keep your eyes on it. It'll be more news you can use in the future.